Uh, Stuart Law, after the hope of the week, the winning the championship, which was a real boost, that was a pretty bad low tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you've been very kind there, Kev, too. Um, you know, we can't, I just, I just told the boys, you know, we, we, we can't put in performances like that. We're, we're playing for a lot more than just, you know, personal pride and the team here. We're playing for the club, we're playing for fans, we're playing for everybody out there, playing for families, playing for their personal pride. Um, and what we saw tonight just wasn't good enough. So, um, you know, we've, we've got one more opportunity in this competition to, to stake a claim. You know, there's plenty to play for. You know, boys sitting back, you know, years gone by saying I should be playing. Well, here's your opportunity. Let's, let's see what you've got. And they've got one more to, to get it right. Uh, lots of hurt for the fans, lots of hurt for the players, uh, lots of hurt for coaches as well. How, how, how bad a low is that for you? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't get much lower. Um, you know, we haven't had a great year by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you know, we've had some bright spots. Uh, we played some good cricket, but we haven't been able to be consistently, you know, up to a standard where we can compete in every game. So, and that's that's disappointing. Um, whether we think we're, you know, we win a game, we think okay, we're, we're on a roll now. Um, unfortunately, when you win a game, you've got to go back to the the drawing board because the opposition want to win as well so you can't just turn up and expect it to happen um, you've got to go out there and make it happen and you know tonight we were we were poor in the field I thought uh, first 10, 15, 10 12 overs uh, poor with the ball uh, we managed to drag it back towards the lot towards the end to to keep it down to what we thought was a manageable total um, and we just batted we looked looked frightened with the bat we didn't want to score runs so you know we got plenty to play for you know people will say the pitch was this and that but it wasn't that bad. And Kent were a patched up side, which makes it even more chastening. Yeah, the thing that I, I highlighted, um, there's a lot, a lot of kids in there who, who weren't pro cricketers a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I say to our boys all the time, it's not about getting an opportunity, it's grab, grabbing hold of it and, and running with it. And that's what some of their boys did. They, they showed more desire, uh, more passion um, to play the game of cricket. They played with a smile on their face. Uh, and they just they trusted what they what they did, um, and they did it very well. So credit to Kent uh, for putting out a team that you know held together like that. Um, you know they, they 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 outplayed us. Year one was talk of a change of culture. Uh, year two was meant to be a transition. It had to still be a change of culture, mainly because of COVID and the number of games mm. you were restricted to. This year then becomes the transition. How close is it, and how big a transition is it? How much of a change is required? Oh, look, oh, that's that's yet to be decided by by everybody here at the club. But you know, every game, every every month that goes past, it's becoming clearer, clearer to myself, um, and clearer to people around us that you know we need to we need to shake things up. We need to you know make things happen um, because you know what what's going on at the moment is just not good enough. Um, and look, the first people to stick their hand up and and understand that are the players. You know. Don't for one minute think they're not out there trying their their backsides off. They are, you know, they they do try, and I think sometimes to the fault of them, they try too hard, which inhibits you to play the best cricket you can. So, look, it's not through lack of trying, it's not through lack of anything else um, that goes into playing a game of cricket. It's just recognising those moments, performing in those moments, and you know, once we you know get out there and you know get put under pressure at the moment, we we, we tend to you know fall by the wayside. So. I'm a big believer that players have got to learn. You've got to learn in the game. You can't learn this in the net. Um, you've got to learn this and feel the pain, feel the hurt. And then it's up to them to, to stick their hand up to, to, to find what's inside them to come out to play better cricket. And there's a big two months coming now, isn't there? There's a rule under one day cup, then there's those four championship games. And mm. as you said, you know, there's not much you can do about it at the moment, but there will be players playing for their future at that point, I'd imagine. Yeah, and that's, that's, a, tough, that's a tough thing to say, but you know, whether it's playing for their future or, you know, staking a claim to, to, to stay in the, the number one team. So, you know, at the moment, you know, our batters are, are performing, you know, subpar. Some are going okay, but okay is not good enough. Um, and, you know, as I say, they keep trying. Our bowling seems to be okay. We seem to be able to get ourselves into out of trouble um, with our bowling. So our bowling's not really, really the issue. Um, as everyone keeps telling me, it's our batting. Um, we just need we just need guys who are willing to you know, do the tough yards, find find a way to score runs on pitches against bowlers that are not bowling what they want. Um, you know, once we once we work that out, once they they work that out in the middle, um, we can be better.
how, how much is confidence? We keep talking about it, but it's clearly the number of defeats. It's going to be a problem, and it is a problem, confidence at the moment. How do you change that for the last two months of the season? Because there's nothing else that can be changed, really, is there, other yeah. than trying to get them to, to find that confidence? Because I'd, I'd imagine, you know, looking from the sides, that that collapse tonight was a lot about confidence as well. Again, once it starts going, it keeps going. Yeah, it, it is. And, and mate, you, you, can, you can sit down and analyse till the, till the cows come home, but once again, it's about players playing the game of cricket that they want to play um, and not changing under pressure. And what we're seeing at the moment is, I, I think, the, the way that we do play to get to where we are, once we get to where we are, we change. We think we've got to change, but you keep doing the same, you play the same way that it's got you noticed, that scored runs to get into a higher position. It's the right way to play. Um, you know, you go up a level, these, these young boys are learning. If you give a chance, it's taken. You know, if you, um, if you play a bad shot there's a, you know, and make a mistake, you know, the bowl's all over you. So, you know, it's, it's, it is a different game. It's about understanding that as well. The, these guys are young. You know, we've got to give them time. I understand that. Um, and I think everybody else out there does understand. You know, that's why senior players need to, you know, continue to stick their hand up. They did it beautifully in the game against Leicester. And that's what happens when you do. You get, you know, great performances from the young fellas, um, backed up by the senior pros who, who finish the games off or control situations in a game. And, you know, once we have that, we've got a, we've got a pretty good cricket team. It just didn't happen tonight. Appreciate it, Cheers, guys.